Hey guys, it's me Manas and welcome back to my channel. So how are you guys? I hope you are doing well. So this video is a bit off track to my other videos, actually a lot different. Yes, as you might not know, I am currently studying physics as my major subject in my college and as it is my last year, I thought of doing a dedicated artwork to the Einstein's theory of relativity. As we all know, Albert Einstein was one of the most greatest physicists of all time and the world's most popular equation, E equal to mc square, was derived from the theory of relativity itself. So summing that up, I thought of doing an artwork which is specially dedicated to the theories that's related to the theory of relativity. Also if you are new to my channel, I am Manas and I am basically a digital artist and I love Love doing artworks and my channel features my artwork videos so consider subscribing to my channel and watch all my videos so in the most simplest words the theory of relativity explains the behavior of objects in space and time and it can be used to predict everything from the existence of black hole to the light bending due to gravity also the behavior of planet mercury in its orbit isn't that interesting actually i tried to visualize some of the phenomena related to this theory in my artwork and don't worry i will explain each of the theory in the end of this video after the time lapse so without any further delay let's begin today's artwork So I hope you liked the video as well as my artwork and I guess many of you are still confused about what I have drawn in it, right? Don't worry, I'll just explain it. So the meaning of the theory lies in the name itself. It's the theory of relativity. It means anything we actually measure from an object's velocity to its momentum or how it experiences time. Everything is in relation with something else. Secondly, it also says that the speed of light, however we measure it, it's gonna be the same all the time. It's a constant and nothing can travel faster than the speed of light. Yes, it is the universal speed limit. So basically, the square lines you see here is the space time and very large objects such as galaxies or black holes tends to distort the space time around it. 
The similar effect you can see in my artwork. The artwork you are seeing right now in the screen is called gravitational lensing. This occurs when a massive object with strong gravity distorts the space-time and bends the light in a way that it magnifies the object directly behind it. They basically work like regular lenses and hence the name. So due to this effect, we get to see beautiful phenomenon such as the Einstein's ring. I guess you guys are familiar with this, right? Yes, it is the black hole. It is one of the most strangest yet fascinating objects in the outer space. They are extremely dense with such gravitational attraction that even light cannot escape from them if it comes near enough. Einstein first predicted its existence with his general theory of relativity in 1916 and in 2019, the first image ever of the black hole was released. The blue jets you see here is a phenomenon known as relativistic jets and you know what? It is the product of the same theory. Isn't it interesting? Another interesting thing you will see right now is the time dilation. In simple words, time is relative. It tends to slow down the faster we move in space. The time passed for an object moving at near speed of light will be significantly slower in relation to an object moving at regular speed. Here I have shown a distorted clock to show this concept. Next the thing you will see here is known as the gravitational waves. No no they are not normal waves but they may seem like. So let's know what they are. These are nothing but ripples caused in the space time due to the gravitational disturbances. In 2016, nearly about 100 years of Einstein's hypothesis, subtle signal of gravitational waves were detected due to the collision of two black holes that too after traveling 1.3 billion light years in the speed of light. So these are the most simplest explanation of the hardest theory ever. I tried to keep my words as simple as ever because I want everyone to at least understand some parts of this video. I could have gone much into detail but the video might get too long and too boring. So I hope you like my concept artwork as well as the video. So one more thing, consider subscribing to this channel and like this video and share this video among the science as well as art enthusiasts. I know they will like this concept very much. I have put a lot of effort in it like all the time. So guys, thank you for watching this video. We'll meet in the next video once again. Till then, tata, bye bye.